Today we're checking out the Backbone, and in case you don't know what this device is, it's basically a controller for your smartphone. But aside from being a controller for your iPhone, this thing actually has some interesting usage as well. And so, that is exactly what I'm going to go ahead and show you in today's video, other ways you could utilize this controller. Let's go ahead and begin. But before we get started, I have to disclose a couple of things. Uh, I actually bought this out of pocket, but that's not the one I'm trying to disclose. So this is the PlayStation Edition, but that doesn't mean this is strictly used for only PlayStation streaming. You can use this on the Microsoft stream and stuff like that. This is just the PlayStation Edition, which means it's white and it has a PlayStation license, which is why it actually has the icons right here on the buttons. Now with that out of the way, let's go ahead and begin. So when you launch the Backbone app, if you actually go into the settings and go in controller, and where it says play on any screen, if you have an iPad and you're not using your iPhone, if you have the controller like this by itself and you select iPad using the lightning cable to USB-C, if you plug this into the iPad directly so long as the iPad supports it, this is actually the controller. You can actually utilize this by itself naked to be used as a controller for not just the iPad, but if you go back, you can use this for Google Chrome, PC, Android, and even Mac. So if you don't have a controller for your even your computer, you could actually use this device by itself as the console controller if you don't have a console controller available. That's pretty awesome and it works even on the Tesla if you select PC. Which is why I absolutely love traveling with this thing because it's smaller than the traditional controller and I could keep it in my car. Nor do I have to swap any cables because the same core that I use to charge my iPhone, I just use to plug in this controller. Now I am using an iPhone 14 Pro on this device and a part that a lot of people seem to miss is this silicone adapter. This should come included in your box. I was reading forums and comments and reviews based off people who purchase the device always complaining that they have fitting problems with their iPhone 14. Just look for the silicone piece. It just slides in like so. This adapter is necessary to actually give you enough clearance for the camera housing that it has in the back. So yeah, there you go. Now next tip is game focus mode. A cool thing about the recent firmware update from iOS is included for iOS 15 but it enhanced in iOS 16 is the modes. And one of them is the focus mode. If you haven't customized this, I highly recommend doing so, so it eliminates any distractions. By going into your settings on your iPhone and scroll down to focus, in here, create one. I have one dedicated for gaming, but let's go ahead and start fresh and make another one. So on the app scene one I allowed, to receive notifications, of course you have that freedom right there. You customize it or silence those notifications. You can choose the individual people you wish to still get a hold of you whenever you're gaming. But if you actually scroll down, I like to actually edit the homepage custom screen. Because here, you can actually create some game apps. Right here, that will automatically pop up as soon as game focus mode is enabled. But it doesn't just end there. On the bottom portion right here, where it says wireless controller on, Turn this on, so now whenever you plug in your backbone to your iPhone, it will automatically switch to game focus mode automatically instead of you having to manually toggle it. In addition to that, once you unplug, it will actually reverse and turn that off completely. And it will also reverse back to the original homepage, not the game app only homepage. But yeah, this is really cool. And you can also choose the same thing for your Apple Watch if you have one paired to your device as well as your lock page. So go nuts on having that custom Master Chief wallpaper. Now, unfortunately, it's really challenging to really remap this, but if you'd like to know where you can go in and find this remapping capability, all you have to do is just go back in your iPhone settings, go into general, and just go ahead and click on game controller. Make sure the device is plugged in for you to see this. From here, if you can go ahead and click on backbone, but I've been having a hard time like selecting like different remapping capabilities. But it does give you the whole layout on what each thing can do like the share gestures. Now unfortunately the backbone button to this device doesn't do anything other than being a back button. It's not a multi app switcher. Here I'll just demonstrate. If I open up this app and I click on the backbone twice. It'll actually take me. It'll just basically take me back to a briefly open app and vice versa. Or I should say action. If you're if you last left off on the iPhone homepage, notice how it just takes you back to the homepage. But when you click on it, it'll automatically launch the backbone app. 
Now, I'm not personally subscribed to the Backbone subscription, which basically all it is, in case you're curious, it just gives you a whole layout of like all the popular games on your iPhone, as well as the App Store, and it organizes like all the installed apps that you have on your device, as well as it gives you suggestions like Xbox Remote Play and PlayStation and etc. Now, I mentioned I'm not subscribed to this because this is the trial version that I'm on right now. And I don't really recommend it due to the fact that it basically is just a giant hub that you'll typically will find on your Xbox or PS5. As you can actually start game chats here, screen share, but I'm like there's other third parties that are free that do allow you to also accomplish this. So that's just my quick overview. I do not recommend the subscription unless this is technically your only source of entertainment or communication with your friends but here you can do some interesting things one of which if you go into the settings real quick and go into capture you do have this beta re recording mode where you can actually smart record where it'll actually save previous 15 seconds of what you're trying to capture so that dvr capture capability the description does allow you to do that, but that's really the only benefit I see here. Everything else just uses iOS, like screen recording and stuff like that for your captures, which are located right here. A single tap will start record as you see right here, and a long hold will actually take a screenshot, and it will save it to your camera roll. And for the final trick that I found out about this device is you can actually play emulators as well as Safari base mobile games for instance an emulator that i've been playing around with recently is web arcade i have a link in the middle description down below when you launch this website and you actually hit continue and you get to this portion if you hit the if you actually click on the up arrow sharing icon and you scroll down to where it says add to home screen click on here it's going to add it to your home screen and now whenever you launch that it's not going to give you like the safari like browser layout you'll have more screen real estate and here this website in particular gives you a selection between atari nintendo uh doom even and you can actually utilize the backbone to actually play these arcade games on your mobile device like so so i have this website link in the description down below but if you do like a quick google search you can find ways you can actually import roms you may already own save it to your device and using this method you'll be able to play super mario and 64 games even on this device pretty well so give it out a shot and explore but aside from that there you guys have it those are the amazing tips and tricks that this thing can do to hopefully make your life easier so you can actually get the most value out of this device i just love the triggers i love the fact that they work so well whenever you're playing first person shooter games and such uh anyways if you haven't picked one of these up, I also have an affiliate link in the description, which doesn't cost you anything. It just sends a small kickback to the channel, which allows me to continue making videos like this for you guys. That's all I have for Matt. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, and I'll catch y'all in the next one. See ya.